Hello. Chapter markers in YouTube videos make life better for everyone. It was important for me to start using them in my videos, and it was important to stop wasting time manually typing a bunch of stuff in to the description. So I've got a way that we can do it pretty easily. I'm using Premiere Pro. Let me switch to it right here. What this involves is creating markers in Premiere Pro, exporting them, uploading them into a Google Sheet, and then copying and pasting them into your description to your video. Sounds like a lot of steps, but it's really pretty simple when you get it down. The one thing to note here, as we're in the timeline right here, if you press M to create a marker and you have a clip selected, it's going to mark the clip itself, which is useful, just not useful to us. So deselect any clips and then press M to create markers. Over the markers window, you can name them, whatever you want to. As you can see, I have a list of markers I've already created for this particular project. Then once we've edited everything down, exported the video, now we just want to do the same for the markers. We go to File, Export, Markers, and by default, it will save a CSV file, which is basically like a little spreadsheet, into whatever folder you have selected. Now I have a Google Sheet up on the internets where we can import that very same sheet. So I'm going to go import, upload. We're going to browse to, I uh, see I've exported several of them here. Let's just do this one. And we want to replace the current sheet, import that data. And now we've got these nice markers. So what we can do here is just copy this. And then over on the tab, YouTube timestamp generator, we can paste those values in right here. I guess I could have pasted those, uh, but what this is going to do is create through a little custom formula I made, this nice little copy and paste in column H, where we'll take that, we'll copy it. I've got a video I'm uploading right now. We're going to put it in the description where I've got a spot for it, paste it in, and it's it, it's ready to go. So it follows the correct little syntax right here, and it's got the titles of the markers straight from Premiere Pro. This has become just part of my workflow, just a small little tweak, saves me some time, and it lets me cut things up into the chapters while I'm actually creating the video, rather than afterwards when A, I don't want to do anything else to the video, and B, sometimes I just forget the sequencing of what I need to actually highlight or what I wanted to highlight in the chapters. So I hope it's helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if it is, if there's something else that you would like to see in this. I've left a link for that Google Sheet that you can copy and use for yourself also in the description. Hope you have a great one. Thanks, bye.